Good morning. Good morning. This is Marsha Neundorfer and this is Mike with Advanced RV. And we're here to report on a few things from a recent five week cross country trip that uh, we took. We went to the Indianapolis work truck show, uh, followed by a, a supplier, a couple of supplier visits across the country, and then uh, ended up at the RVX show in Salt Lake City. After the RVX show, we just, just wandered around. We did uh, 10 national parks, hiked over 100 miles, uh, did some state parks, uh, and uh, just had the most freedom we probably could ever have. So we took Escape, and Escape is a, a super high top, uh, which Mercedes doesn't make anymore. Uh, it's an extended uh, uh, motorhome. Uh, we built it as a demo. There's a lot of technology in Escape that uh, we have enjoyed over the last year or so. And we wanted to share a couple things that worked especially well for us on this trip. So we started off, it was winter time. One of the things we loved in the winter was we could use all the plumbing and, and we didn't have any uh, worries about freeze up. So we had the heat on literally 24 seven for about a week and a half, I think. Yeah. And, and then on sporadically after that, uh, we had fresh water, gray water, black water, uh, and no problems with freeze up and no worries about freeze up. So that was, that was awesome. How about comfort uh, at night uh, when it was it that cold? It was very com comfortable. We have this insulated curtain in the back that kept the back warm. We had insulation in, on the windows and these sealed curtains kept the back very warm and a privacy curtain up front. So this is the front curtain that we had installed and it works well for quick privacy at night and it also has insulating properties, so the cold that can come in through that huge front window gets blocked out. So that has been a nice addition, a recent addition to Escape. And it tucks over here and secures against that one with uh, Velcro and it makes it very tight. This is a two-wheel drive chassis, but with the anti-slip and the anti-skid uh, safety features, I never felt at all at risk for skidding or sliding or anything. We went through Colorado where they were cleaning up. In fact, we spent hours dead stop while they cleaned up for avalanches. Uh, in Utah, we went through a blizzard where we had to wait for the state highway patrol and the, and the plow trucks to, to take us across one of the mountains. Uh, we had other heavy snow uh, along the way. So we had, it, we really tried out the, the uh, and, and on the way, the business part of the trip, we had to keep moving. So we, we couldn't really just stop and wait for the snow to go. And uh, so it, it, it handled great. The other thing Marsha and I love, now we did have a few days uh, uh, out of the van, uh, one, one night uh, for our, at our son's place in Houston and a few days in LA where we were with family. But other than that, we were five weeks in this, uh, in Escape. And there's a feeling of space and escape that we love. Uh, we can actually, excuse me, excuse me, uh, excuse me, excuse me. We can go back and forth on the aisle without getting in each other's way, and it's uh, it's it's pleasant. But it's uh, there's plenty of room for that. Uh, we could each have our space in the van for for evening uh, reading and stuff. Marsha turns the front seat around and puts her feet on her adjustable uh, ottoman and uh, I usually sit in the back. Um, some nights we put out the table and, and uh, serve dinner to ourselves. Other times we would, if we'd been sitting a lot, we'd eat at the counter. So the feeling of space in, in Escape uh, it was, was very nice. We, also, I think the soft palette, the soft colors helped a lot with a feeling of spaciousness and peacefulness and comfort. Yeah, it was very pleasant to be in here. Uh, the, we, we are going to take a trip in a, in a 144 uh, in a couple weeks and because we've never really been in a 144 and we're real interested to see how the, the comfort and space is going to be in that. It's almost four feet shorter than this. We use the bathroom night light, the red light, so that we would, it wouldn't dilate our eyes when we got up at night. Uh, often though we were so tired from hiking that we would sleep right through. Uh, the, uh, it's a great comfortable bed. 
the, the bed is wonderful here. Yeah, we were we were we would tell you how many hours we sleep a night, but we would be embarrassed. It's uh, <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> so nine or ten hours, yes, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, the shoe drawer here was wonderful. So shoes would go in there. Muddy shoes we put in a plastic bag, and they could go in there. But it was very handy coming right in from the from the door. So this is essentially our mud room. For us, anyway, simplicity. Uh, is freedom and so we were able to uh, have a really nice salad and maybe some soup every night uh, we would usually uh, split a cookie or a candy bar and uh, it was a really healthy way we use the microwave we the microwave a lot you had some elk i remember you sent some pictures of oh. some <laughs> there. we did we tried our instapot and uh, marcia cooked a really cool elk dinner oh, uh, that's right yes. <laughs> you had forgotten about that <laughs> Um, yes, the Instapot fit here in the in the sink. It worked. It needs some tweaking. That was my first time using the Instapot. We love the uh, the the shelves in the wardrobe. We we we've started using uh, uh, packing our clothes in in little duffel kits, and uh, that worked well. We hung our our coats and stuff on the back, and the shelves are sculpted so that the coats would hang. Uh, Marsha's. Uh, stools in the bottom of there but this was a, a really handy um, arrangement for us probably more for us uh, than a uh, uh, hang closet but Marsh and I uh, downloaded our uh, all of our movies, movies and stuff that we wanted TV to series we wanted to binge on and yeah. catch up on and we just would magnetically put our iPad Pro here it would Bluetooth through an, an, an impressive amazing sound system with subwoofer it was like being in the theater we put the the uh, couch back deploy it put the headboard up at an angle lie back there and, and watch and listen it was really great that we had so many USB ports uh, we had uh, ports in the back for our phones and iPads ports here ports up front so uh, that was that was great the shower uh, Great shower. We uh, we really enjoyed the shower. When you don't shower every day, shower every <laughs> two or three days. Appreciate it more. We, we would, Marcia would say, "Boy, that shower felt good," <laughs> even though it was like a gallon shower. And yes. So, but we really loved it. We're, we're appreciative of the guys. We sent emails back to the shop and and uh, just thank them for the quality of, of work they did here and some of the extra little things they they put on escape for our trip and we write down anything we can think of that would improve the ARV experience. So we come back with a list. Now some little things are, hey, this screw came loose and we should really look at how we Loctite it better in the future. Uh, so we make, and some things are a little bigger and we make engineering changes. But uh, things that uh, are tried in Escape, we've incorporated in a lot of other vans. And so, so we it, keep two lists, the things we really like and the things that we would change. Yeah, exactly. And then we share both of those lists with everybody here and uh, it helps us to continuously improve. The big thing that helps us improve continuously is clients that come in and tell us, hey, we, have, we want this or this is our objective. And our craftspeople sit down with them and say, here's, here's how we could meet it, what do you think? And the client says, well, we could tweak this and that, and ultimately, we are directed by our uh, our uh, clients to do great things, and we do it with them. Thanks for listening. Uh, it's it's been fun sharing uh, uh, Escape with you, and uh, we hope the next owners have as as great a time in Escape as we did.